In this tutorial, we will make us an eardrum synthesizer. Before we start, let's just look quickly at the structure of what we will build and the logic of the synthesis. This snare sound is based around white noise. Obviously we also have a volume envelope to make the sound decay. We remove some of the lower frequencies from the noise with a high pass filter. We add some resonance with two wide band pass filters. These filters also have an envelope applied to control the cutoff frequency, making it decay quickly. Finally, for a bit of punch, and ring, and tone, we add a simple frequency modulated oscillator. See tutorial 6 for more on frequency modulation. So let's start from the white noise. We add a volume envelope of E-line object as with the kick drum synth in the last tutorial. The envelope goes very quickly to 1 and then decays to 0 according to the number that we send in. Again using the dollar one notation to represent the number arriving at the first inlet. We can make this into a subpatch to tidy things up. The high pass filter is very simple. We use the HIP object to roll off frequencies below 100 Hz. Now let's add the band pass filters. We make them slightly different from each other, with relatively low values for the resonance. We want to make the cutoff values drop according to an envelope, but we don't want both frequencies to do exactly the same thing, so we scale and offset each cutoff slightly differently. The last piece of the synth is the FM oscillator for some bite and tone. We use the same volume envelope, but we make the curve steeper by again squaring the output. We are using a center frequency of 150 Hz here, and modulating 30 Hz either side of this at a frequency of 50 Hz. 
so the frequency of the final carrier sine tone varies very quickly between 120 Hz and 180 Hz. You can experiment with different values or even add controls to change this later on. We will tidy this into a neat sub patch too. Don't forget the dildar on the inlet, as this is an audio signal coming in from the volume envelope. We scale the duration of the filter cutoff envelope so that it is not quite as fast as the volume envelope cutoff. Again, you can experiment with this value to see what you think works best. We will also add a control to change the filter cutoffs, scaling one of them so that they are different from each other still. Finally, let's wrap this up in a sub patch and add some controls. This version has controls for decay and noise. As with the kick drum synth, we are giving them a receive symbol so that we can set up presets very easily. Blatter the blatter the blatter the blue black blatter the black heater black bam 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 blam crack 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 blam.